To start a new module, you can click New in the File tab, or you can press Ctrl N on Windows. A window will appear with a number of different file options. You want to select Verilog HDL as your file type. Now you can start writing the module. You'll want to start by writing the keyword module, followed by the module's name. Next are the module's ports. They go in parentheses after the module name. Input ports are similar to arguments in a C function. They supply information that influences the module's calculations. Output ports are like the return values of a C function, but there's no limit to the number of output ports you can have in a Verilog module. Unlike functions in a language like C, Verilog modules are intended to represent physical circuits, where components are connected by wires. Often a module will need more than just one wire to send all the relevant information to another module in a timely manner. So limiting modules to just one output port wouldn't really make sense. The order the ports are written in doesn't matter, but you do need to put a comma after each port declaration with the exception of the last one. Do not put a comma after the last port as it will not compile. You'll need a semicolon after the closing parenthesis too. Also, by default ports are only one bit. You will eventually learn how to make ports with multiple bits. After the ports comes the body of the module, where the logic happens. The simplest module simply combines the inputs in a Boolean algebra equation and returns the value as an output. This can be done with an assign statement, like so. The assign keyword is required, as the output is not a variable like in C. The assignment permanently wires the output to produce the value. For this reason, an output port can only be assigned once. Later in the course, we will learn how to produce outputs that can have variable logic. Lastly, you need the end module keyword at the bottom. To save your module, just press Ctrl S or click Save As in the File tab. You want to give this file the same name as the module itself. So to recap, in this module I've taken the inputs A and B, which are both one bit, and performed a Boolean multiply, otherwise known as an AND operation, on them. Using an assign statement, I've wired the result to the output port called OUT, which is also one bit.